ಅನುದಿನ ಅನುಕ್ಷಣ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲೂ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ಕಲಿಕೆಯ ಹೊಸ ಹಾದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೂಡಿ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯ ಹಾಕೋಣ ಸಂತಸದಿ ಕಲಿಯೋಣ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಯಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ Hi children today i have brought you a beautiful thing that's about indian weavers it is written by sarojini naidu you know all about this wonderful personality the great poetess politician of india today we are going to discuss many things about the indian weavers so they are the real he- heroes who made us to look more and most beautiful yes now it is the time to have a look on them and about their special things now i am going to take you to this beautiful journey across the platform of indian weavers before going to this we want to learn something about this poetess that's about sarojini naidu you can look at this picture dear children she is nothing but sarojini naidu the writer of today's poem the poem has been written by this wonderful personality she is being called with a beautiful title later on we are going to discuss about this now a small introduction about this personality you can look at on the screen you will be getting sarojini naidu was born in hyderabad and educated in london and cambridge university she began writing poems in english very early in her life she has been aptly called the nightingale of india she has been called the nightingale of india so this is the title which has been given to her by the lovers of literature next thing the most surprisingly her patriotic poems and the musical equality of her poetry inspired readers not only in india but also all over the world this is the most in- important thing the matter in connected with sarojin naidu not only indians but also all over the world the lovers of literature loved her poetry and all the musical equalities next thing the most surprising thing is about her is the way responding to call the mahatma gandhi she threw herself into the struggle for independence of india she joined the movement of indian Indi- in- independence movement and she quickly responded to the call of mahatma gandhi and she joined that thing next thing among the several volumes of poems she published the most bunch of poems the volumes of poems are the golden threshold the world of time and the broken wing have been received with great appreciation so giving appreciation to a writer is the most important thing so while we enjoy their literature automatically we become their great heroes and the poets and the poetess and the writers they become great hero for us or heroines for us so for that reason giving appreciation for their beautiful presentation is the most important thing appreciate without any reason or cause that is the best thing for ourselves next thing we are going to discuss about the glossaries related to this wonderful session or this indian weavers poem yes look at the list of the glossaries the first thing is break of day it means early in the morning break of day means early in the morning next thing garment garment means dress this is my garment this is my dress next thing it's about gay gay means sometimes it gives the meaning like happiness joy or bright here the meaning of the gay is bright next halcyon it is pronounced like this it means 
a bright colored bird. So we are going to discuss about this thing. What is halcyon? Next thing is robe. Robe means a long or loose garment. What the specially the persons who are in the kingship they wear long garments that is called robe. Next thing plumes means feathers of any birds. So this is all about the glossary related with this best impression and next thing veils means fine net to cover head and face. So we cover our face and our head with this type of veils. So next thing solemn means very much serious, very much calm, very much dignified. So now go to the next one, funeral, antima samskara, a ceremony at which a dead person is buried or cremated. So that's called funeral. Now you can look at this picture. This is my friend from Kustagi. He is a weaver. He is a teacher. His name is Mr. Baskar. The whole family dedicated their life to this weaving profession. We can look at these pictures. His brother is there. His sister is there. These are all the instruments what the weavers they weave for the purpose. You can, you can look at that instrument, you can look at the thread, you can look at the happiness and joy in their faces. Soon after this, I am going to read this poem for you. Now your duty is to enjoy the poem. So you enjoy the poem children. I hope that you do the thing best according to your interest. Just create interest among yourself and enjoy the poem. Now let's begin. Weavers weaving at day of break, break of day. Why do you weave a garment so gay? Weavers weaving at break of day. Why do you weave a garment so gay? Blue as the wing of a halcyon wild. Weavers weaving at Weavers weave the robes of a newborn child. Once again, I repeated the first line. A repetition of these four lines for you. Weavers weaving at a break of day. Why do you weave a garment so gay? Blue as the wing of a halcyon wild. We weave the robes of a newborn child. You can see the rhyme schemes. Simultaneously, the first and second line, the third and fourth line are interlinked with their last words. They are related with rhyme schemes of the poem. So, we are going to discuss about this beautiful thing at the end of the poem. So, we will be having a beautiful session or moments in this session only. Okay, next thing. Weavers weaving at fall of night. Why do you weave a garment so bright? Look the plumes of a peacock, purple and green. We weave the marriage veils of a queen. Again, the same repetition of rhyming words. You can look at the last words of every sentence. They are interlinked with consecutive lines. The first two lines with their last ending words, night and bright. Green and Queen. Here. These are all the rhyming words. Weavers weaving solemn and still. What do you weave in the moonlight chill? White as a feather and white as a cloud. We weave a dead man's funeral shroud. Again the same rhyme scheme has been introduced here. So this is all about this reading. Next, what is to be done, dear children? Read it 
with a proper style of pause, stress, intonation and rhyme scheme. Go to your teacher and get some kinds of feedbacks related with this special reading. Now, you enjoyed this reading. Now, I am going to take you to the next step that is the most important thing about this poem is look at the screen. What is there? What is here? What is consisted in this poem? Okay, we studied well. We enjoyed the poem. We sang it. We learned many things about the poem before one or two minutes. Now, we are going to learn, we are going to know what are the things consisted in this poem. Yes, for the first and foremost, the present poem is in the form of a dialogue. Someone will ask the viewers and the viewers will answer. It says again and again that the life has everything in it. The three stages of human life are given beautifully in this poem. The first and foremost thing is about the joy of birth. The second one is celebration of youth and marriage. The third thing is sorrow and stillness of death. These are all the three beautiful things that are explained in this poem. So for this re reason, this is called a mini life. Instead of going through the life histories of many people, what can be extendably done by us is to read this poem once or twice or thrice or many times. Then definitely we will be coming to know about what is real life. The joy of the birth has been introduced here. The celebration of the youth and its significance has been given here in addition to marriage symbolization. And at last the sorrow of human deaths. How the life ends itself. It's about the full point of the life. Next thing. Summary of the poem I am going to discuss with you. Basically in this poem, three stanzas are there. Each stanza consisted four lines. Clear? Okay. Three stanzas are there. All the three stanzas are related with a kind of human life history. Now, we are going to discuss about the second thing about the poem. The poem The poem consists of a discussion between the poet and the weavers. I told you already early in the beginning of the poem. The weavers, they give answers to the questions made by the poet. So I take the word, the poet and the word weavers in this summarization of the poem. Just, you can go to the next step. The poet asks the weavers and the weavers they reply. This is the thing is being happening for all the times between the poet and the weavers. Only it is in terms of the dialogue only. Next thing. The poet asked three questions here. You can look at the screen. The three stages of man's life as mentioned in the poem. So they are mourning as birth, happiness and hope. Happiness, hope are representing here the mode of birth, the event of birth. Next thing, evening as youth period. The youth is the period of celebration. The youth is the period of powerfulness. We have power. We have strength. We have courage. We have strong dedication. That's why the youth period is called the source, the real source of the human life. For that reason, being youth, dear children, 
we should utilize it for the purpose of humanity. Okay. The second thing related to man's life has been mentioned here in the name of youth period. So we do celebration of life during the youth and most of the marriages, they will be taken place during this youth period. So marriages will be happening and so we are the most powerful things during this special period. And the third life movement is given here. That's about night as represents here serious, calm, tired, silent and death. So these are all the five words. They explain the end of human life. So that's why night is full of darkness. So these are all the three important stages are mentioned in this poem by the great personality of India, Sarojini Naidu. Look at the next thing. It's about the garment of a newborn child looks like the robes. The garment of the bride looks like the feathers of a peacock with purple and green. Blue, purple and green, they suggest childhood and youth. White color suggests old age and death. So look at these things, children. So we should do some discussions on these things. So the garment of the bride looks like the feathers of a peacock with purple and green. The bride's marriage dresses are prepared with the help of these beautiful colors. Her garments are looking like peacock with purple and green color. So these two colors, purple and green, they suggest childhood and youth. And, and at last, white color suggests that the old age and death. So now, you can look at this child. The garment of a newborn child looks like the robes. The Srihari. And look at this peacock. Look at this peacock's beautiful thing. The garment of the bride looks like the feather of a peacock with purple and green. How beautiful it is. We like this feather. Next thing, it's about the blue and purple and the green suggest childhood and youth. We studied it. So white color suggests old age and death also. So now it is time to check your comprehension. So make a list of words related to dress materials. The words related to dress materials, you should make a list. I made it for you. Just you can add some things to this list. Okay? The words Related to this dress materials are garments, dress, jacket, scarf, jeans, pyjamas, pants, shirt, shoes, skirt, raincoat, socks and other things. Just to go on reading and have a look at this beautiful thing. Write on these things in your notebook and discuss with your teachers and with your family members and with your beloved friends. So... If you want to add something, just add under the guidance of your respected teachers and your the most learned family members or the brilliant friends. Next thing, so name the three stages of man's life as mentioned in this poem. What are the three stages are mentioned in this poem? Just to name them. Okay? Do it yourself. This is for your children. Try it yourself. What does the government of a newborn child look like? Just before one or two minutes, I, sh I showed you a picture of a baby. Above that picture, some kinds of information related to this question number three that is made for you. Just go through that thing and have an answer for this. Next thing, one more thing to try yourself. Describe the government of the bride. 
how the how the bride's garment has been described here in this poem that is to be described yourself try it yourself if not possible discuss with your friends if not possible have a telephonic conversation with your respected teachers and get some clarifications and write down the write down the sentences okay children now i am going to take you to the next thing it's about the rhyming words what i told you before at the time of reading this poem now you can look at the endings of all these four lines the first and second the third and fourth they are ended with some kinds of rhyming words in the first line day and the second line gay these two words are rhyming words the third and fourth line they ended with rhyming words and again in the second stanza the same thing is happened night and bright green and queen in the first line of this third stanza and second line they are consisted beautiful and melodious rhyming words still and chill loud and shroud so these are all about the rhyming words now it's an activity for you i have done two things for you and one is for you time of the day has been given here and what are the words and phrases related with time of the day i gave i have given here and on that time what kind of work is being done by the viewers that has been also given to you early in the morning what the viewers do and what kind of words related to that particular time it has been given there early in the morning represents day of break the weavers were weaving robes for the newborn child late in the evening it means the fall of night weavers weaving marriage veil for queen so cold night it means moon light chill what kind of duty what kind of thing was being done by the viewers that is to be done by yourself try it yourself have a discussion with your friends and family members and with your the respected teachers then you will be getting excellent clarification of this matter next thing there is one more thing for you look at these colors the first one is red blue green yellow orange and pink so many colors are there basically seven patterns of colors are there you know the physics very well purple black brown white gray and the next thing these are all the things are given for you and based on this i am giving you a kind of activity just what is to be done nothing is there the activity is simple so remember all the colors and do this color color what color name the color what it is 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 so do it yourself children and have a discussion ultimately so now write the antonyms for these things beautiful antonyms are there for you antonyms are opposite words okay what is the opposite word for new i think you got all the answer the uh, right opposite for the new is old for bright dull for dead alive still active wild calm fall raise child adult so these are all the collections of opposite words i made uh, more easier to you in addition to the list just what is to be done by you just go on adding some things to this list and have a clarifications with your teachers and friends become good at english next thing there is an assignment for you look at this thing children read a short story on chenna patana toys so being children we are very much fond of we like these kinds of toys do you like children do you want toys no no i think basically you are fond of toys aata da samanu galanna kandre makkalige ishta so that's why if you have some clarifications get from your teachers ultimately read story related with this chenna patana toys there is a lesson i give you after this thing related with this chenna patana chenna patana toys no need to worry just to give this lesson just you read this lesson you will be getting everything okay children look at this toys 
How beautifully they designed. Look at the colors. Look at the feelings on their faces. Even they are not moving. They give us excellent messages with their own kinds of body languages. So we are all fond of these things we want to have in our collections. So, Gombe Yanadu, Channa Patana Nagarake Swagata, welcome to the land of toys, Channa Patana. Nagarasabe of Channa Patana welcomes you. So, on behalf of Channa Patana, I welcome you to this wonderful session, children. Before going to this, I am going to give you some kinds of information regarding this Channa Patana. There is a lesson. So, look at this, children. I am from Koppal. I am very much proud of this Kinnal art. So, the Kinnal is famous for making some kinds of designs, some kinds of artistic toys, just like Channa Patana. Look at this picture related to the village Kinnal. It is near to Koppal. So, I had given many visits to there and I enjoyed with all the artists. So, now, one more thing is for you. So, now, now we can look at this picture. This is a procession tableau for you. So, Kamadhyan is there. Jaganmata is seated on the crown. The tricolor is hosted there. Salute to the makers of this tableau. This is made by the artists of Kinnal. These are the handmade things for indoor decorations and gifting purpose. Whenever you pay your visit to Kinnal or Koppal, definitely you can request one or two teachers of Koppal or Kinnal. They guide you to this beautiful village. You can enjoy. So, what I request you on behalf of all your management or your school or your SDMC, so just to pay a visit to Koppal, one or two digits will take you to that village and make you to know. Enjoy all the things. Next thing, extra reading is for you children. You must do, do this. The thing is related to classics of second language English. So, what is special in this textbook? Have a collection or download from the internet, go to DSCRT source, you will be getting this thing. What is there, sir? I gave you some activity related with this Channa Patana toys. There is a lesson for you. There is a lesson for you. Read all the things. Introduction is there about this thing. Introduction is there about this thing. You can go there. Next thing, you can look at the thing, how the toys are designed. The beautiful toys are given there. Now it is your duty to read and enjoy the lesson for the purpose of pleasure only. This, this is called supplementary reading. Children, enjoy this st story and have a note on this special thing. Just, you can go to the next one. You can look at this page, download it from the DSCR website and enjoy the story. How beautiful they are. Do you want to have at home such collections? So the making of toys has been given here. You will be getting there. Next thing, it is all about this thing. Now, I am going to end up my session. Children, second wave of Corona is entering into the human life and playing its prominent or dangerous role. Be aware of things. Maintain social distance. Use sanitization always to be undergo sanitization. 
maintain social distance, keep clean yourself and use always some kinds of uh, advices given by the Department of Health. So, in addition to this thing, being the students of English, you must speak English. Keep clean, keep clean, speak English. Bye bye. Anudina, Anukshana, Mani Yellu Kaliona, Kalikeya Hosahadi Ali, Jute Gudi Hitchia Hakona, Santa Kadi Kaliona, Tamma Hindi Ali, Classinali. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. The same, ma'am.